Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rogers Kakasungura YouTube channel. A big thank you for your support. We have been telling Kenya that uh, the national government should rethink on how to offer free education from primary to university by consolidating all bursary kitties. Wachukwe CDF, wachukwe i basari ya county, wachukwe basari ya women reps, wachukwe i ya national government, hii naeko band 1, band 2, band 3. They put those resources together in one basket because once they are distributed, they get lost along the way. So that the government can offer free education without charging students for school fees. Now, today, the High Court declared the National Government Constituency Development Fund and GCDF unconstitutional. And this is a big blow to members of parliament. The only thing I'm not sure of is if the court decision is going to be respected by William Ruto and the members of parliament. You remember when Ruto was campaigning, he was telling members of parliament that if he becomes the president, he will increase CDA for them. And CDA has been the only income for members of parliament. The only source where they steal from. The only source where they discriminate the electorate. The only source where they use it to campaign the CDF. According to the court, CDF undermined the principle of devolution and defaulted the extra layer created by the fund which the judges observed led to To wastage of public funds. This is exactly what I was saying. Why should we give members of parliament money to loot and give back a little? Why should we give governors money to loot and we give them money? Why should we give women reps money to loot at Basari? For what? Can this money be consolidated to one kitty? to offer free education for all students, regardless of the family you come from, regardless you are rich, regardless you are poor, you access free education. I want to read a document from the court. For all the above reasons and conclusions, we now make the following declarations that the National Government Constituency Development Fund Act of 2015 as amended in 2022 and 2023 is hereby declared unconstitutional. The three-judge bench comprising of Judge Kanye Kimondo, Justice Mugure Tande, and Lady Justice Rosaline Aburili duplicated government activities. While issuing the judgment, according to the documents in my position, The court found out that the fund distorted the structure of devolution. Hence, the non-involvement of the Senate made it unconstitutional. On whether the act violated the doctrine of separation of powers, the court concluded that the act violated the doctrine of separation of powers by involving members of parliament in implementing the fund. In their ruling, The three judge bench directed that the pending government project funded under the CDF be given more time for completion. I want to read what they say. That CDF and all its projects, programs and activities shall cease to operate at the stroke of midnight on 30th June 2026. That this petition having been filed in the public interest, each party shall bear its own costs. Ladies and gentlemen, 
the court has pronounced itself not once, not twice, because if I can remember very well, previously, the courts have made a decision on the very same issue, the CDF, and have rendered it unconstitutional. This is another one. Ruto always says Kenya is governed by the rule of law, respect to the constitution. My big question is, will Ruto be bold enough and tell members of parliament CDF has been rendered unconstitutional? Will he do that? Or maybe, as usual, they are going to assume the decision and illegally pro pro proceed with the CDF. Of course, it's obvious. Kenya under William Ruto and the Kenya Kwanzaa government is the master of anarchy. It is among the team of anarchists. Anarchy is when there is lawlessness. Lawlessness is when people don't want to follow the law and a country that is not governed by the rule of law, that country is said to have been entered into anarchy. And I can say this without fear of any contradiction. That William Ruto from the look of things seems to be the chair of anarchists. He doesn't follow any court order. He doesn't respect the judiciary. He does things like a dictator. And if Ruto says Kenya is governed by the rule of law, I am waiting to see if the decision made today by the courts is going to be fully respected and implemented. That is what I'm waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this video, kindly make sure you click the subscribe button and remember to turn on your notification bell. I will never get tired to say thank you to those of you who support us in our activities. Those who support us on charity work, those who fail our cars, those who support us with airtime and other things, may God bless you abundantly. Mungu na awabariki sana. Our target is 1 million subscribers. If we reach 100,000, I know this 1 million is possible if we join hands. Kama video yangu inakupendeza, Make sure you share in one, two, three groups. And uh, that is one way of supporting Kakashi. We'll see you in the next video, ladies and gentlemen. Asanteni sana.